hey there and welcome back for another second hand laundry day. No, actually today I'm probably going to do a little bit of an unboxing as long as USPS does their part and they say they are. Uh, I got a little package showing up. It all kind of started about a week ago when I shot a little video reel for a five-year-old boy's birthday party. Super cute, super fun, also super personal and super private. You're not going to see it. If the family wants to put it up on social media, that's their business, but I'm not going to... Nope, sorry. Mm -mm. So, uh, anyways, in the midst of getting some great footage for the family and cutting together a little bit of a birthday reel, highlight reel, I lost a filter. Um, I had a uh, Joby ball head attached to a Vivitar tripod that I've had for some years that told him breaking down and rickety. Uh, uh, I forgot to tighten down the clamp on the ball head that slammed forward. I'd lost my ND64 circular polarized filter from Freewell. So I got some new filters coming in. This time we're going to try a kit from Polar Pro. So anyways, uh, when that package shows up, I'll uh, go ahead and do that unboxing here in a minute. It should be any time now. Let's take a look inside the box. I don't know what's in here. It sure is a neat little flowery motif there on the side of that box, isn't it? Yeah, yes it is. Hey, look at that. Holy crap, there's a couple of boxes in here. I didn't know how many packages were coming. I just know, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yep, 10 filters, that's what I should be getting. Oh, well, we won't be showing you that, will we? Yeah, we'll be editing out that with my address on it, the receipt there, ha, ha, ha. Anyways, nice flowery box. There's that one there. What do we got? Let's get it zoomed in on there. Uh, Shutter Collection Cinema Series ND4, ND8, ND16. And over here we have. ND32, ND64, ND32 polarized, and ND64 polarized. That's the one I had to replace. 
And this last box has uh, ND4 polarized, ND8 polarized, and ND16 polarized. So there it is, guys. Uh, all of the filters a guy could want is the box. The, the, the box is even magnetic. Holy cow, that's, that's crazy. Check that out. The box is magnetic. It'll close itself. That's crazy. That's an interesting little nice little detail, you know. I was given the impression that Polar Pro put a little bit of extra effort in their products. This is an ND8. You can see that the lens doesn't quite fit in the frame properly. It's not in alignment. This is an ND8 from Freewell. It's uh, not as noticeable, but it also has this issue. This is a CPL8, and the lens doesn't even fit shape in the circle there at all. This is my ND8 CPL from Freewell. Much better fit, much better finish. But I guess I'll wait and see what they do for my video before I complain too much. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and crack into these little boxes here and uh, see what they look like on the inside. I went ahead and switched camera angles on you guys there, sorry. Move things about, let's see here. All right, right there, okay. A little bit of tape right back here. Gotta go ahead and cut that. And pull that tab out. There is a really pretty looking sort of stationary envelope. Let's do this. Change. Not. Be right back. Very nice little stationery. Let's see if I can get that to focus. There we go. Nice little stationery envelope. We'll see what's inside that here in just a second. That's kind of neat though. Very classy Polar Pro. Polar Pro. Very classy. What we have inside of it is the Vivid Filter User Guide. Explore Quartz Line Filter Collection. Okay, we'll check out these things here in a minute. A thank you card from all of us at Polar Pro. That's kind of nice. So, thank you from Polar Pro, it says. And, you know, back here it's got some pictures, things, ideas, stuff. And in the booklet we have a Polar Pro sticker. Everybody likes stickers. Guess I'll have to throw that on my laptop. Thank you. I guess I got a couple more probably. I'll have to throw them on some power banks that I take with me in my camera kit. A lifetime warranty card. Polar Pro Limited Lifetime Warranty. Promise that it's products are free from manufacturer's defects and materials or workmanship for the lifetime of the product. Polar Pro Limited Lifetime Warranty covers Polar Pro products under their intended use. Warranty does not cover 
Then a negligent use of any product, including scratches, cracks, filters, lenses from improper use of storage, or damage from mishandling or dropping the product. Don't drop your filters, not covered with a lifetime warranty. If it breaks because they made a bad product, they'll fix it. If uh, it breaks because you did something dumb, well, that's just user error. Comes with a uh, lens cloth. I like that. I have a handful of these. I think I think take take three of these with me already. So let's see what I dropped. Oh, look at that! Another Polar Pro sticker. So we will. Uh, yeah, we'll definitely have to do something cool with these. I don't know just yet, but we got a couple of them. That's the wrong way for the camera. Oh, no, that's right. I don't know. Anyways, you got the idea. Polar Pro. Wipey cloth. Plastic case. That's uh, that's a fancy little hinged. Set up there. Hopefully you got some focus there. I'm bad at this. I'll get better, I promise, I swear. I'm getting good at editing because my camera work sucks. <laughs> so these look like they are circular polarizers. They are written on the side. These are the uh, ND4 polarized, ND8 polarized, ND16 polarized. They do look a little different, don't they? Oh my goodness, that's different. Different kind of case. Oh, they're on there good and stout. I'm not worried about losing that. Oh, that's because it's got backing. That's interesting. Yeah. I lost the last one off a of camera, not out of the case. But those are on there really quite well. Sure, I sludged that getting out of there. It's tough not to. That's why they come with cloths, because it's really difficult to get these uh, out of a case without putting my big clumsy fingers on them. Oh my, yeah, that's nice. Yes, yes. Those are very light. Very light. Very lightweight. So I guess we'll have a look inside the other boxes, but I bet they're the same, guys. I bet they look just like this. They got, uh... Some circular polarized lenses. We'll open up a box that has some of the regular lenses so you see the slightly different shape. I don't know if that focused at all here. Get that back in the center. There we go. Hopefully that focuses some. So that's what they look like up close and personal. The Cinema Series 4K Vivid Collection. Very nice packaging, very elegant look, very stable feel. So now that we're done with that unboxing, we'll go ahead and do an unpackaging. I know it's in here. Oh, you guys can see it or not. Play your own stuff. This is a bite mount and floaty. I've had one of these before, but I lost it on a shoot. Out with a buddy of mine in the middle of nowhere. Let's get that back back. Uh, I either left it in his truck or I left it behind at a waterfall, which I 
don't like the idea of it very well done. So, there is that. What we have is a new back latch to my GoPro housing. We're going to throw that away. Uh, we have a little extension so that you can, uh, you know, it's like a spacer, move your camera or whatever attachment for it away about an inch. Put that over here. We have an interesting thumb screw. I've never seen one of these before. So, yeah, I don't know. I'm sure we'll figure out what that's for. And then we have a regular old GoPro screw. Nothing new there. And then, like I said, the floaty. And the floaty is going to end up, I'm sure, with this guy here sticking to the back of the door, which gets stuck on the hinge of the back of the original GoPro wireframe housing. And that'll make the whole arrangement float. And that's pretty cool. Uh, like I said, I got like, oh, yeah, my bite valve is in the box still, huh? That was just the floaty stuff. We'll dig a little deeper. Hey, look. Entropy in action. This is the bike valve, bike mount rather. And you know, up front it's your normal GoPro clippy that you attach to a lot of the GoPro mounting hardware with these screws and stuff in the back. It is a padded sort of thing shaped roughly like a mouth guard for boxing. And you put it in the mouth and bite onto it and the camera hangs out like that and underneath here and it sticks out like that. And then you can get your underwater shots. Now if that wasn't cool enough, making my GoPro float and being able to stick it in my mouth, uh, something I unboxed uh, off camera, I forgot to grab the camera guys, sorry, uh, is, is this. This is the underwater housing for my DJI Osmo Pocket Camera One in the Sentry Pigeon system. So, uh, now I have a floaty situation for my GoPro. I have a floaty situation uh, in the waterproof housing for my Osmo Pocket. And then I attach the Osmo Pocket or whatever to a floaty handle giving one of the two extra floaty ability. So there it is guys, I wanted to share those with you. Uh, now I should be able to get at least two underwater angles when I go out and jump in the waterfalls and stuff with you guys, alrighty. Well, I think now's a great time to make a bad transition and do some awesome footage. Stop. Thank you. All right. Are we still recording? We are. We didn't even cut. Ha ha. We'll just edit all that out. <laughs> Hooray editing.